Hey everyone, it's Jared here with HeatPress Nation, and I'll be showing you how to use the tracing tool in Silhouette Studio for HTV. If you aren't able to import a high quality vector graphic directly into Silhouette Studio, there is an awesome tool which can trace common image file types like JPEG or PNG. The trace tool is particularly useful for contour cutting with heat transfer paper. And if you're working with heat transfer vinyl, you'll find this tool very helpful when working with images of simple logos, text, and shapes. Now, before we proceed, I'd like to share some quick info that should help improve your tracing experience in Silhouette Studio. When tracing an image file for heat transfer vinyl, be sure that the image is at least 1000 by 1000 pixels. The image should have high contrast colors, with the ideal image being a single color on a white background. Any dark color for the main shapes will work, but Silhouette Studio's trace tools work best when the image is black and white overall. A really neat feature that was added in Silhouette Studio version 4.4 is its transparent PNG auto tracing. Anytime you drag and drop a PNG image with a transparent background, the software will automatically trace around its edges, so you'll be ready to cut in no time. This will work with both single and multicolor PNG images as long as they have a transparent background. For this video, let's assume that your image file does not have a transparent background. As long as it's at least 1000 by 1000 pixels and a single color on a white background, the image should be pretty easy for Silhouette Studio to trace with its default settings. Go ahead and open the trace panel, click Select Trace Area, then draw a box around the area you want to trace. You can resize the trace box with the white squares on each corner. If you're unfamiliar with the adjustable options in the trace window, I'll go over them before I trace this example image. The option you'll always adjust first is threshold, which will change how much of your image will be traced based on its colors, starting from the darkest first. Despeckle threshold is an extra buffer designed to reduce the noise in an image from being traced. High pass will make the trace lines work from the outside in, which is useful for tracing an outlined multicolor image, but only for the outline. And finally, scale can help smoothen out the pixelation of your trace, particularly when working with smaller details. The default scale of 10 can sometimes leave a trace notably pixelated, while lowering it can smooth it out. These adjustable options can help fine tune your trace of most graphics saved as image files. But if you're working with a single color image, you'll most likely only need to adjust the threshold and scale settings when tracing. Once you've found the ideal settings, Click Trace and you're ready to cut. Now, what do you do if the image you're working with doesn't fit the criteria of being high resolution or single color? In the worst cases, the image could be a screenshot of the graphic with black borders. Resizing the box to only trace the graphic can work, though you may lose some detail when traced. In a tricky situation like this, you can always refine the trace manually by editing its points. Double click on the red trace outlines and the points that form it will be revealed. From here, you can refine the points given to the trace by dragging and adjusting them to match the original image as close as possible. Be sure to use the point editing tools whenever you need to set the line of a point as flat or curved. Simply remove unneeded points by clicking on them and then pressing the delete key. To remove multiple points at once, hold down the shift key, click on each point to remove and then press the delete key. The logo portion of my image looks great, but the small bottom text could still use more work. To easily recreate text, you can use an online font finding tool to search for the fonts used in your image. After downloading and installing those new fonts on your computer, save your project, then close and restart Silhouette Studio. The new fonts will automatically load into Silhouette Studio. You can then use the text tool to recreate the image's text. Now this trace job is ready to be cut. With careful work, you can still trace an image of less than ideal quality to match the original. But of course, for the best and easiest results, you should always work with an image that's at least 1000 by 1000 pixels with high contrast colors or a single color on a white background. For any further details or questions about Silhouette Studio or their Cameo cutters, 
you can visit our website at heatpressnation.com. Or you can also call a My Expert representative at 800 215 0894. Once again, I'm Jared with Heat Press Station, and thanks for watching.